What's up YouTube, Dmux here, and today we'll be discussing a very popular theory that's been at the forefront about what may be in store for the future of the Kingdom Hearts series. That being Sora, the main hero of Kingdom Hearts, could end up being the Realm of Light's new greatest threat in the form of the Master of Masters. For those uninformed, the Master of Masters is a Keyblade builder who made his debut in Kingdom Hearts Key, he is the leader of the Five Foretellers in Lushu during the events of the Key Saga as well as the author of the Book of Prophecies, which contains all the futures foresaw by the Master through his gazing eye forged within the Keyblade that would go on to be wielded by Master Xehanort. Now the Master of Masters is quickly becoming a fan favorite amongst the Kingdom Hearts community thanks to the release of Kingdom Hearts Key back cover giving players a good sense of his eccentric personality. Plus the reveal of his grand plan of destroying the pure darknesses during the end chapters of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross have many fans excited for what's to unfold in future games as the Master of Masters is setting up to be a worthy main antagonist for the next saga, succeeding the likes of Master Xehanor in his many forms that are now six feet under. That being said, am I hoping the Master of Masters identity is revealed to be an older version of Sora from an alternate timeline or reality? Short answer, no. I'd much rather have the Master of Masters be an original character forged from the mind of Nomura instead of being connected to an established character in the series, especially Sora. Although, I'm not 100% against the idea of the Master of Masters being an older version of Sora, as the trope of a protagonist fighting an older version of themselves can be quite fun and endearing if executed in the right way. And based on what I've seen so far from the Master of Masters, there's enough evidence to suggest that he was once our favorite spiky haired hero from Dicey Islands who would go on to use the power of the Keyblade to save his friends and the Realm of Light from harm against dark forces. Okay, first things first, let's get the basic theory out of the way of Sora being the Master of Masters, and that's both sharing similar personalities and body language. In terms of personality, both Sora and the Master of Masters have showcased effectually upbeat and optimistic attitudes when interacting with others, as well as being able to keep conversations lighthearted even in troubled circumstances. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding! I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just testing you but are able to flip a switch and provide words of encouragement, assurance, or disdain when needed. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. And even though the Master of Masters has shown to be quite intelligent and wise when guiding his students, he still projects unpredictable childlike mannerisms that would seem off-putting for a man of his stature, something I could easily see an older version of Sora acting like if he were in a position of guiding the new generation of Keyblade wielders. On top of that, there have been many moments in back cover and remind where the Master of Masters shares similar physical habits to that of Sora's. From the hands on the hips, hands dangling down while slouching, scratching of the head, hand over the heart, to the famous head tilt just to name a few. Moving on, our next piece of evidence, the Keyblade. A legendary weapon used to unlock and control the power of Kingdom Hearts. Origin of the Blade's conception are still unknown, however one key detail remains. Every time this legendary weapon is forged, two crossing kingdom keys always make up the base of the weapon. Ever since the reveal of the Keyblade in Birth by Sleep, I always felt that there was some deeper meaning behind the two kingdom keys aside from referencing Sora's signature Keyblade, and I think Phase 2 of Kingdom Hearts will give us a better understanding of why that is. Next up, the Master of Masters Past. There's a moment in Union Cross where the Master of Masters talks to Lushu about his youth and the ongoing battle he had with the darkness. As the Master of Masters is explaining his childhood in Lushu, one could argue there are a good number of parallels between his journey as a young Keyblade wielder compared to Sora's. From taking part in the Keyblade War that supposedly happened in the quote unquote past before the events of Union Cross, also like Sora, the Master of Masters didn't have a traditional Keyblade Master and was likely self-taught to better harness the power of the Keyblade as he journeyed from world to world. Not to mention the Master coming in contact with forms of darkness that look human, but weren't. Which makes sense seeing that when Sora and the Guardians of Light clashed with the Seekers of Darkness in Kingdom Hearts 3, most of the 13 darknesses were either pure darkness, aka Vanitas, replicas, a nobody, or a heartless. With the exception of Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, and Terranort. Speaking of past events, one other major hint at the Master of Masters identity and possible connection to Sora is during a flashback scene in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. When Master Xehanort reminisces about meeting the Lost Master at the Keyblade Graveyard many years ago, during this encounter, the Master of Masters reveals his name to young Xehanort, but it was muted out to the audience. My name is... Oh, come on! Now why would Nomura want to keep the Master of Masters name a secret during this exchange, unless the reveal of his name would have major ramifications of how he perceived this character moving forward? Just saying, seems a little sketch to me. 
The Master's Masters could also be in possession of the power of waking, seeing that the Master does disappear from Daybreak Town without warning, and when confronted by Ira about his untimely departure, the Master doesn't give a straightforward answer about why or how that is. And like Sora, abusing the power of waking to restore his friend's hearts caused Sora to vanish to another world, that being Quadratum. Which is where we see the Master of Masters making the shape of a heart with his hands towards the moon during the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 and could be where he's been hiding out this whole time watching events unfold through his gazing eye, as well as influencing the world of Quadratum and its inhabitants for his own benefit. Furthermore, the Master could have been the one to put Yazora through the various trials in order to be strong enough to confront and quote unquote, save Sora. So let me just think in the comments down below about the theory of the Master of Masters being an older version of Sora from an alternate timeline or reality. Do you like this idea? Or are you hoping the Master of Masters ends up being an original character? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, it really helps me out, subscribe for more content from me on Kingdom Hearts, and other games in general, I'm Demolex, I'll see you in the future.